Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to do some wet sanding. These have been curing this first good coat of lacquer on these uh, wheel pants. They've been curing for oh, two days, two solid days, I believe. Maybe three. Uh, yeah, maybe four. So it's time to get to wet sanding. Uh, we're going to use 3000. And that should take out all of the blemishes that are left. And then we'll build up another coat and we'll see what happens. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, I found some blemishes, some orange peeling, different things on here. So I went back to, with some 1500 wet, then back to the 3000 wet. And now I'm going to apply another second coat of uh, lacquer to these wheel pants. What? Oh, okay. You doing okay, Smudge? Okay. Anywho, uh, don't be afraid to take paint off. That's why we do primer. Uh, when you're wet sanding, some paint comes off, that's fine. It's going to be multiple coats of this paint. So this is just the first one. And that's the one where you want to take out most of the blemishes before we start building up even coats. Alright, so they got about as much as they did the first time around. Now I just gotta flip them over when they dry enough later on today. We'll do the other side and then set them out to dry. Now, now for any of you following along, what was that? I know. For any of you that might still be following along and realize that I'm quite uh, nutty, <clears throat> you're not far off. Uh, once I remove these foam inserts after painting, or maybe I'll do it before painting, obviously, I plan on possibly updating the front end. Now, you say, where did he get those and what are they? These are clippings from a fan shroud. Uh, don't ask me why I thought to even clip these and bring them home. The rest of it is in the trash. This is a nice one here. This is going to be the belly one. Of course, not this big uh, bar here. But, uh, you know, maybe from here down we'll uh, actually somehow integrate into this under here yep that's correct and you guessed it these other two are for intake grills now who knows which part of this I'll use I might use that part you can see with me right yeah I have a vision I have a vision or am I going to wrap it around the side a little maybe cut more air intake. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You see how my brain's working though. That's what happens when you're me. Yeah, just goofing off, you know, with some, uh, believe it or not, tin snips. Uh, snip these out real quick. Gonna flush them, I mean, French them back in, obviously, but the foam is still in there. I didn't want to remove that just yet. He's a good guard player. Good girl. Good girl. Wheel Pant City. Let's put some more lacquer on. Yeah, if you're gonna apply lacquer, you have to apply it very wet. You can't just, I mean, when you get into the later coats. You can't just pussyfoot around. You've got to lay down a good out and back pass that's wet. So it's usually about four inches from your surface. Oh man, that's beautiful.
Come on, focus. All right. So you can't always have beautiful, beautiful passes. This one's got a little bit of rippling, and I don't know if you can see. Oh, right there by the screw hole. Yeah, bug landed right there. So just sharing with you the mistakes that are made too. So this front wheel pant is going to go back for some more sanding, believe it or not, just to get the the bug out. But it's pretty heavy on there right now. Heavy, heavy coats. And check this baby out. It's enjoying some cure time. I mean, some dry time. Excuse me. Cure time happens in a closed environment, of course, as it should. But this one's got rippling too, so sanding again, but we're getting there. Black olives, those are my favorite. But that's it right there, boys and girls of all ages. Ostolium lacquer. Trusted since 19. What? 21. Plus, you know, it comes in handy if you're going to a goth or heavy metal concert.